Hi there, and welcome to Music with Mrs. Harloff. Today, we're gonna learn about Vivaldi's Winter. But first, let's start with a special winter edition of our Hello song. Let's sing. Hello, 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 it's music time. Shiver like you're cold, like this. Shiver like you're cold, shiver like you're cold, it's music time. Make some falling snow, like this. Can you make it snow? Make some falling snow, make some falling snow, it's music time. Twirl like the wind, twirl like the wind, twirl like the wind, it's music time. Sing hello, 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 it's music time. Let's go. Today, we are going to be listening to a piece of music called Winter. And Winter is one of the four seasons that we have in our year. Can you name all four seasons? If you think you can, go ahead and pause this video, take a second and think about them, and tell somebody the four seasons that we have in our year. Did you name them all? We have Winter, Spring, Summer, and fall. Yes, those are the four seasons. So today we're going to be listening to winter. I wanted to write the word winter on the board. Will you help me spell it? Great. So let's say the word winter and listen to the first sound that we hear. Winter. Wuh, wuh, wuh. Do you know what letter says wuh? W. So I'm going to write a W down. Wuh. In. In. I actually hear the word in and in is spelled I N. So far we have win, win. So let's keep saying the word and listen to those sounds. Wint, winter, winter. T, t, t. Mm -hmm. That's a T. Winter. And then we have the er sound at the end of the word. Now, most of you will say that's an R, and you're right. But when we have the er sound at the end of a word, we actually use two letters. And most of the time, it's ER. So here's our word winter. This is the title of the song we're going to be listening to today. Everybody say hi to my friend here. This is Vivaldi. Can you say, hey, Vivaldi? Vivaldi lived a very, very long time ago, and he is from the country, Italy, and Vivaldi wrote a lot of famous music. One of the things he did was to write music about all four seasons, winter, spring, summer, and fall. He is the one who wrote the music for winter that we're going to be listening to today. Now, before we listen to the music winter, I want to get our brains thinking about winter. So I want you guys to help me create a list of words that go with this theme, winter. I want you to think about words that you think of when you hear the word winter. See if you can come up with your list of words. And if you want to, you can write them down on a piece of paper or a dry erase board, or just have them here in your brain. So go ahead and pause the video and come back when you have your list of words that go with winter. Okay, are you back? Great, I'm gonna write down some words that I thought of when I think of the word winter. See if any of my words match yours. I'm gonna go ahead and underline this. This is our theme, um, winter. And one of the words that came right to my mind when I thought about winter was the word snow. So I'm gonna write the word snow. Have you ever seen snow? Have you ever played in snow? Does it snow where you live? I love snow. Another word I think of with winter is the word cold. C cold. Cold starts with C. Cold. So winter, I think of snow and cold. And you know what else I think of in winter? Snowmen. I like to build a snowman when it snows. So I'm going to take the word snow and write that again. And I'm going to add the word man, right? next to it and it's going to make one word called snowman okay something else i think about with the winter is wind sometimes when it snows or it's cold in the winter there's wind blowing so i'm going to write one more word i'm going to write the word wind 
w wind starts the same as w w winter, doesn't it? W I N. Oh my goodness. W I N. W I N. That's kind of cool. But wind just has that D at the end. Wind. Snow and cold and wind and snowmen. I bet you guys had a lot more words than I did. So thank you for making that list. Now you're going to use that to help you when you listen to winter. Here's what we're going to do. You are going to get nice and comfortable so that you can listen to Vivaldi's Winter. You can lay down, you can sit comfortably in a chair, you can have your eyes open or closed, but you're going to relax and listen to the music. And what I want you to do while you listen to the music is think about some of those winter words that you put on your list. Imagine them in your mind. What does the music make you think about? Does it sound like a nice soft falling snow or does it sound like a very windy blizzard? Does it sound like sitting in your living room and drinking hot chocolate? Or does it sound like going fast down a hill in a sled? So close your eyes or keep them open. Think about your list and what this song makes you think about with winter. Here we go. Give me a thumbs up if you really liked Vivaldi's Winter. Give me a, no, not really for me. Or it was okay. Show me that with your thumbs. 
Here's the cool thing about music. First of all, we can all have our own opinions about it. So if you did not enjoy Vivaldi's Winter, that is okay. No one will be mad at you. Um, the other cool thing about music is that when we listen to it and we think about it, we can all have different ideas. So when I listen to Vivaldi's Winter, I do not think about soft, pretty snowfall or drinking hot chocolate and being cozy. Vivaldi's Winter to me sounds like kids running around and being crazy and playing in the snow or winds blowing snow around really, really fast and crazy. That music to me sounded fast and intense and kind of the crazy side of winter. How about you? Did it make you feel the same way as me or did you think of something different? That is one of the wonderful things about music. We can all think about it in different ways and we can all like it or we can not like it and that's okay. Thank you for taking the time to listen to Vivaldi's Winter. That's how we help our minds grow. So the next thing I love doing with music is moving my body to it, um, dancing or moving. Um, and I thought it would be kind of fun to do something with snow. So why don't we make some snowflakes and then we can use them to move around and have some fun while we listen to Vivaldi's Winter one more time. Let's do it. So I'm going to show you how I like to make snowflakes. You will need a piece of paper and you will need some scissors and the paper can be just white copy paper or you can use lined notebook paper. They will both work. If you don't want to make these snowflakes with me or you don't have the supplies to make them, hang on or forward through this and I'm going to tell you what you can do so that you can still dance around with us to Vivaldi's Winter and have some snow, but a much faster and easier way, okay? So if you don't wanna do it, just forward through the next part. This is what the snowflake looks like that I just made, and I'm gonna show you guys how I did it. Now you know no two snowflakes are exactly the same, so yours might not look exactly like this, but this is how we do it. We're gonna start with just a regular plain piece of paper. You can use notebook paper if you want, or this is copier paper that you might have in a printer somewhere. Um, the first thing we have to do is turn this rectangle into a square, and here's how we're gonna do that. You're gonna find a corner, you're gonna take that corner and fold it across to the long edge of the paper. You're gonna line it up so the edges meet and then you're gonna crease it. Okay, so where it folds, you run your finger along it, make a nice hard crease. Now what you see is I've got this rectangle of paper left over and I've got this big triangle shape. We wanna keep the triangle shape, we're gonna cut this rectangle off. Okay, so I'm going to grab some scissors, which you will need. Just cutting that rectangle off. And I can use this to make a nice bookmark or I can throw it in the recycle bin. All right, so now we have a triangle left. I want you to put your triangle just like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to fold our triangle in half. So I'm going to take this bottom of the triangle corner and I'm going to go right over to the corner on the other side. Make sure everything's lined up and then I'm going to press and crease. Then I have this triangle. I'm going to fold it again one more time. And I saw a little trick about creasing. Once you do this with your fingers, if you take the handle of your scissors, see how my snowflake keeps coming undone, and you push down on those creases with the handle of your scissors, it helps hold them in place better, okay? Now, do you see here where the snowflake keeps opening? That's gonna be the tip that we're gonna cut off, okay? So I want you to take your scissors and you're gonna just cut the tip off. You can cut it any angle that you want, but you're just gonna snip it off. And this project is gonna leave lots of little papers like this. Make sure you clean up after yourself and throw those away, okay? Now I've got lots of sides of my triangles. All I'm going to do is go to each side and I'm gonna cut little shapes out. I love cutting triangles because they're really easy to just stick my scissors in, make a little cut, pick them out, make another little cut, and there you go. You can make a square or a rectangle if you want. They're just a little bit harder because you gotta get your, finger, your scissors all the way up in there, okay? I can do a little diamond shape there. I can cut nice, long, tall triangles, or I could do a 
big wide fat triangle like this and cut that tip off. I'm just gonna cut it all up. I think I'm gonna make another rectangle. I'm curious what that will look like. That's a long, tall rectangle, isn't it? So I just went around and cut little shapes. I'll make a teeny weeny baby triangle right there. Okay, and I'm gonna make sure all of that gets put away and not left all over the floor. And that's what it looks like after I've cut some shapes into it. Now all I'm gonna do is unfold it. Ooh, that's so pretty. And I've made a little snowflake. Oh, that's an interesting shape in the corner up there, isn't it? And you can see where I cut rectangles and where I cut triangles. When they open it up, it makes neat little shapes like that. So you have your fancy snowflakes, or remember I said if you don't wanna make those fancy snowflakes or you don't have scissors, watch this. You can just take a piece of paper, any paper, make sure you ask your parents' permission before you do this, and you can just crinkle it up. And instead of a snowflake, now you have a snowball. And you can throw these and dance around with these too. Are you guys ready to move your bodies to Vivaldi's winter with me? Awesome, I've got some snowflakes ready to dance around with. And I also made some crumpled up pieces of paper to be snowballs so that I can throw them and have fun with them while we listen to the song. So let's go ahead and get moving.
Take a bow, you did it. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me today for a little bit, everybody. I hope you enjoyed listening to Vivaldi's Winter, thinking about winter things, feeling the music and what it makes you think about, and for getting up and moving around and dancing to Vivaldi's Winter with me. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.